Hey, hello there. This is going to be a tutorial for the roll-up spiral curves. As you can see here, I uh, created some geometry node spirals that you can unroll. And if we go into it and I turn on these ones, you can see what is happening. So it's all UV unwrapped as well. And here in the parameters, you can say that you want to change the length. Uh, we can set these values to zero so it's just uh, not rolling at an angle but here you can see if we zoom out you can unroll it to where you want it so it's all rolled up or it's all rolled out and here uh, I set the length to 100 and if I grab this and I put this on the grid you see here that it's exactly 100 10 squares long. That's very handy that you can determine the exact length of it. And if we roll it up, you can look at it from the side. And then you can determine the start radius, so how big you want the radius to be. Uh, yeah, if we scale this up, we can also scale up the end radius then you can make any roll this uh, for example a metal plane or panel will be rolled up like this with the uh, with a hole in it and then it's still 100 and you can unroll it the length unroll it it's still 100 meters so that's very nice to have uh, here I also set the parameters for the width, so you can easily change that. Uh, also the height, so you can make it thicker or a lot thinner if you want the paper. And you can give it an offset to uh, make it look like this. If we unroll this one, it rolls to the side. It's like cut in an, at an angle. And you can use this uh, UVs as well. So if we go into the geometry nodes, this is the spiral that I created. If I duplicate it, you can see how it works a little bit. Here, if I plug it in, and I go to the UVs mode, set it to zero, maybe. maybe there. And here, this is rolled up. So here we can, or, uh, or unrolled, here we can roll it up, as you can see stops here at zero and here you have the parameters so you can set the rotations how many rotations you want if you want to do it that way we have the outer uh, radius and we have the inner radius so you can determine how you want the spiral to look but i also have this it changes a little bit how this works because you can set the rotations the start and the end then by these uh, parameters you can change it by the length so you can determine okay i want to have it 30 meters uh, then un unroll it and you see that it's uh, 30 meters if you change the, these angles so that's how you can also use it with this node group um, what you can also do if we plug this in again like it's all nicely and let's unroll it what we can do for example is in join geometry we can take the two mesh here it's already a mesh distribute points on face And there it is so here we can see if we plug it in you have a lot of points uh, we can do instance on and then let's take an icosphere just plug it in uh, 0.2 0.1 here you see all these spheres that are laid on top so you can make some kind of carpet and if we roll it up then still all the positions will be correct. So it's not that they 
would jitter around because the geometry changes. As you can see here, you disconnect. These are all the lines. And the lines will stay the, si stay the same. So how I actually did this, here you can see again, I can populate it with a lot of icospheres. It could be a carpet. So how I did this was with a regular spiral. So I would go into here and I create a spiral. This is what I did. Create the spiral, uh, the height to be zero. And I used a geometry transform and then yeah this axis changed it like this so here we have our spiral and we can set the amount of rotations we can set the radius we can set the end radius and also the height if you want to make it all like this but i use it flat and then what i did uh this then what i did is i extruded first do curve to mesh because we need mesh points then we need uh, a vertex and then use the index and we want to capture the maybe we can do a compare node plug it into selection and then we can do the first one yeah it's this one and then a combine node and then we want to have it go in that direction i think we should flip it yes it's like this we then drag it out this is what I made first, so let's make it maybe 12, something like this. Uh, so I extruded one of the vertices of the spiral, the last one, so you get uh, this curve. And then with a mesh to curve, we go back to making it a curve. And then with a trim curve, changed uh, with the length to where it starts and where it ends so what i did procedurally uh, i used the end and the start and i moved them simultaneously so if the start moves then the end moves with it and this way you can roll up your meshes but what happens now is that uh, you have an amount of points here but these change. So if I, for example, do a curve to mesh again, and then use a quadrilateral, and I do point one for now, plug it in, and then make it a bit wider. And now if we look here, you can see we have these points. But if I move again these values, you see that the points uh, are staying in the same position. And also here we don't have any points. So what I did to fix this, this was just to uh, resample curve. Length. I think I did it by count. Let's say 30. If you do like this, then amount of points stay the same and this way also the geometry doesn't change uh, what I also needed because it could jump from left to right uh, I used a curve normal and then set it to free and then I used it in one of the axes X axis so the orientation changes uh, doesn't change so also the UV map doesn't flip that is what happened when I was uh, to 
set up this system. So with some mad, uh, math I uh, that uh, used the parameters for, I made these uh, link up. So it looks like everything is on just one curve, but this is basically how I did it. So if I delete this, uh, take the curve again, see it. up so now uh, the trim curve takes away here i also change the position of the whole thing so it looks like it's all being you have a lot of uh, freedom in how you want to roll things up so you can make this into a leaf or maybe a carpet or you can make uh, some kind of plants or um have these uh, uh, birthday rolling up flutes uh, you can also do that or maybe make uh, some kind of a shell use the rotations you can all do that so now you know how to do it and uh, you can get this tool uh, on blender market if you just want to have it uh, set up already you don't have, want to do all the programming you can get it there. So I hope this uh, tool is useful and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, bye.